Thank you for volunteering to work at the ice cream parlor. It's a lot of hard work, but it is a truly rewarding experience. You get to meet a lot of people, experience the Nebraska State Fair, and help earn some money for the agencies that you're passionate about. It takes over 200 volunteers to run the ice cream parlor, so thank you for your time. Each year, we continue to learn how to do things better. We are hopeful that this year will be smooth for everyone and very successful. Ice cream can be served in cones, waffle cones, four ounce dish, or a six ounce dish. Scoop's Ice Cream Parlor has 11 different ice cream flavors. When ice cream parlor is slow, sampling around the fair is a great idea. Sampling must be in front of the ice cream parlor only. Sample cups and tasting spoons are in between the coolers. Each volunteer is expected to obey safety rules and exercise caution and common sense in all work activities. Volunteers must immediately report any unsafe conditions to the United Way. A first aid kit is available in the ice cream parlor for minor accidents. Please review the contaminated food procedure sheet posted on the wall of the parlor. When you are ready to take the customer's orders, Write the customer name on the top of the order form, then circle if they want a dish, a cone, or a waffle cone. And then also circle if they want water, and then milk, if it's the white milk or chocolate milk, can be circled at the bottom. When you have completed the order and taken the customer's money, place your order in the bottom of the basket for the scoopers. That way the scoopers can take from the top and keep the orders in order of placement. At times throughout the fair, there will be coupons issued by the ice cream parlor. Please see a valid coupon sheet posted on the Pepsi cooler in the parlor. Please put an X in the flavor that they would like. If it's a one scoop, it'll be one X. If it's a two scoop, they can have two different flavors. So put an X in one flavor and another X in the second flavor. Parlor has two iPad tablet point of sale cash registers with integrated credit card swiping and chip reading capabilities. To turn the register system on, press the power button on the middle right side of the iPad. Touch the point of sale icon to launch the program. System pop-ups will confirm the cash drawer and chip reader are connected. The POS register system is now ready to use. The iPad register page displays images of each parlor menu item. To ring in a cell, touch the appropriate image. If you sell two of the same item, then you would touch the image twice. If you touch the wrong item, touch the item description on the far right side of the screen under the heading Current Sale, a pop-up screen. A pop-up screen will allow you to subtract, remove the item. Click Save and then continue with the sale. New in 2017, we've added the ability to round up for charity. Customers are able to round their bill up in 50 cent increments. Each customer should be offered the opportunity to round up if their total ends in 50 cents. Customers can also round up a dollar by hitting the round up button twice. When you've entered the complete order, touch the blue rectangular charge button on the bottom right hand corner of the iPad screen. Please note, charge does not refer to the payment method. Charge can be cash or credit card. The payment method will be displayed on the next screen. For cash transactions, choose the appropriate dollar amount or custom to key in a specific amount. And then hit the tender key. Now you're ready to click New Sale. For credit card transactions, first double check the credit card for a process chip. If the card has a chip, you must use the white square chip reader to run the transaction. If the card has no chip, then you will swipe the card at the front of the POS unit. Follow the prompts to complete the sale. Rarely, a customer will request a paper receipt. 
please make the customer aware that this system does not provide a paper receipt. If the customer insists upon receiving a receipt, please direct them to a Heartland United Way employee or have them call the Heartland United Way office at 308-382-2675. A number of coupons have been issued by the Heartland United Way for Scoops Ice Cream Parlor. The coupon list is posted on the Pepsi cooler on the northeast side of the parlor. Once you've entered the customer order, you must key in the coupon before you complete the transaction. Touch the table of contents icon on the bottom black bar of the register screen. Valid coupons will be listed under discounts. Touch discounts and then touch the appropriate coupon. If you touch the wrong item, touch the item description on the far right, subtract the item, then click done. Once you've entered the correct discount, continue with the transaction to charge out the transaction. When you arrive to volunteer, please sign in. When you sign in, please indicate what agency you are volunteering for, then fill out a name tag. Every volunteer needs a pass to get into the fair. It is the responsibility of each volunteer to pick up a pass from the United Way, located at 1441 North Webb Road. We will distribute volunteer gate passes at the on-site training sessions, but volunteers who complete online training must pick up their own ticket as stated above. You may not pick up a pass for another volunteer. If a volunteer fails to show up, your agency will be responsible for the payment of the pass. Unfortunately, there's no designated parking for volunteers. Your options for parking are general parking, shuttle in from one of the shuttle locations, or have someone drop you off. They will have shuttles from the free parking lot to the fairgrounds. Make sure you allow enough time to find parking and to walk to the ice cream parlor so that you arrive for your shift on time. Be sure to arrive approximately 15 minutes prior to your scheduled shift and allow time to walk to the ice cream parlor. You are not allowed to eat in the ice cream parlor. This is a health department regulation. Please make sure you plan on eating before or after your shift. Comfortable shoes. You will be walking to get into the ice cream parlor and standing on your feet the majority of your shift, so please plan accordingly. Black aprons and visors will be provided. Hair needs to be pulled back and a visor must be worn. Items not allowed. Open-toed sandals, tank tops, revealing shirts, or miniskirts. State and federal regulations require the following. All food service employees must wear close-toed shoes with socks or hose, Sandals and open-toed shoes are not allowed. Watches, rings, and jewelry are not allowed with the exception of a solid wedding band without diamonds or other gems. In order to avoid the spread of foodborne illness, please wash hands frequently. The highest incidence of foodborne illness occurs during improper, negligent hand washing through cross-contamination. Every time you leave an area to assist another, you must wash your hands. This includes handling cash, cleaning up messes, or anything alike. If you're handling food, please wear plastic gloves. Gloves are mandatory if you have fake fingernails or fingernail polish. We want to be sure that our customers have a great experience at the ice cream parlor. Not only that the ice cream is good, but so is the customer service. We want them to come back often and tell others to come as well. There will be a morning, day, and night manager available every day. The managers will be available for any questions or concerns you may have. There will be one team captain per shift. They will be the go-to person for any questions or concerns. Some of the responsibilities of the team captain will include, but are not limited to, the following. Make sure all the team members sign in and out for their work shift. Make sure all team members are appropriately attired, hair, gloves, apron, and have a name tag on. Communicate with the manager any issues that may come up. Take care of any issues that may come up, customer complaints, supplies, etc. Make sure the products are stocked. 
run any necessary errands, cash change, store, product, etc. If slow, send team members with samples out in the crowd or home for the day. The ice cream parlor gets a lot of dust that comes in through the windows. Please wipe down the sink, coolers, countertops, tables, etc. first thing in the morning so the ice cream parlor is clean and presentable. The windows will also need to be wiped down. Cleaning supplies are located under the three compartment sink. Stock other supplies in the ice cream parlor such as napkins, spoons, and bowls. Extra product is located on the shelves. Please note any supplies we are running low on. Stock ice cream cones and waffle cones. Sweep floors and wipe up any spots. Floors are mopped at night. The cash register should be filled with the beginning cash for the day. Each register should have a total of $200. Take inventory of the ice cream parlor and make sure we have plenty of supplies and product for the day. If you notice throughout the day that we are running low on anything, please inform your team captain. Fill ice cream scoop buckets with warm water and place between ice cream coolers. Throughout the day, this water should be changed frequently when it becomes cold or cloudy. The scoops should be rinsed frequently throughout each shift. For individuals with a gluten allergy, please take the time to wash the scoop before scooping the ice cream. The ice cream scoops and scrapers need to be washed using the three-step method every four hours. Please wash at the beginning and end of each shift. Please wipe down the sink, coolers, countertops, tables, etc. throughout the shift as needed and at the end of the day. Wipe down serving windows. Cleaning supplies are located under the three compartment sink. Drain the three compartment sink and wipe it down. Restock the Pepsi cooler with 20 ounce bottled water and milk. Stock other supplies in the ice cream parlor such as napkins, spoons, and dishes. Stock ice cream cones and waffle cones. Sweep and mop the floor. Take inventory of ice cream parlor and make sure we have plenty of supplies and product for the next day. If you notice throughout the day that we are running low on anything, please inform your shift manager. The ice cream scoops and scrapers need to be washed and dipped in sanitizing sink, then left on the towel to air dry. Place all garbage just outside the parlor door. Put laundry in plastic bag to deliver to the United Way office. Only launder dirty aprons. Turn off lights. Light switch is located behind the Pepsi cooler. Double check all coolers, including extra ice cream coolers in the other room, to ensure lids, doors are closed. 